Hello dear viewers. We would like to thank you all for choosing our channel and watching us. We hope that these videos, which we prepared with hard work, will be useful to you. I am sure that if you listen to our videos carefully until the end, it will be at least a little useful. We expect you to subscribe and like. Thank you for giving us your valuable time. Let's move on to our topic. Few things bring people together today like our collective hatred of high gasoline prices. Regardless of who you blame for it, prices are high right now and aren't coming down quickly. It's enough to drive some folks into an electric car. But for those not yet ready to make the leap, the humble hybrid gets another turn in the spotlight. This time though, we're not only talking about egg-shaped cars like the Prius and others. Instead, we're looking at heart-of-the-market vehicles like the 2023 Honda CR-V Hybrid and the 2023 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid. Participation trophies. Here at Motor Trend, we don't do ties. We put our noses to the grindstone until one vehicle wins our latest comparison test. Sometimes this makes our lives a lot harder, this is one of those times. Both the 2023 Honda CR-V Hybrid and 2023 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid are excellent buys, and you'll be happy with either one. They have far more in common than they have differences, and in the end our decision came down to critical numbers, price and fuel economy. Only one could win though, so follow along to see how we got their dot different styles, same results. Be it how they look or how they drive, the 2023 Honda CR-V Hybrid and 2023 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid have different styles and different swagger, but the end result is effectively the same. Indeed, they may have been developed by different companies, but they're two sides of the same coin. When we look at these compact SUVs we see distinct personalities doing the same job. To our eye, the Honda's design language inside and out is a bit more sophisticated and premium, and it drives that way too. The Toyota looks a bit more rugged and adventure-ready, and that's how it drives. Neither is prettier or better driving than the other. From the driver's seat, the 2023 Honda CR-V Hybrid is a bit quieter inside than the 2023 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid, but both are excellent. The Honda handles slightly better, but each is pleasantly sporty for a workaday family SUV. The Honda's drivetrain is quieter than the Toyota's under hard acceleration, but they're both equally smooth and refined. Each likewise has good brake pedal feel that completely masks the transition between regenerative braking and mechanical braking. We do appreciate the Honda's B Drive mode, which amps up the regenerative braking and comes in handy when going down hills. Offsetting technical advantages. Unsurprisingly for direct competitors, the Honda CR-V and Toyota RAV4 hybrids offer most of the same tech features. Each, though, has at least one distinct feature, and each does something better than the other. Both, for example, have adaptive cruise control and lane-keeping systems. Honda's is the more sophisticated package, able to hold the vehicle centered in the lane, whereas Toyota's only prevents the SUV from drifting over the lines. Law requires backup cameras these days, but they aren't all created equal. Honda has a simple rear-view camera for reversing, and it works well enough. Toyota, meanwhile, offers a 360-degree view by stitching four camera images together, making the vehicle itself invisible on the screen. If you run over something while the Toyota's cameras are on, it's because you aren't paying attention. Each SUV also carries its maker's latest infotainment software and it's another case of give and take. Toyota's new system looks far more contemporary and is pretty straightforward to use. Honda's offers a lot more customization, but the learning curve is steeper and the look isn't as up to the minute. The CR-V and RAV4 both also come with power tailgates at this price point, but where the Honda requires you to reach for a specific button to close it, the Toyota requires only a gentle tug anywhere on the gate to bring it down. It's a minor convenience, but one we'd like to see on more vehicles. What's inside? Although Honda's interior design language is more sophisticated and premium, it's less of an advantage than a differentiator. Toyota went for a more rugged and functional look, and that's no bad thing. In fact, we found the Toyota's materials to be a bit richer, and we appreciated the contrast stitching and trim plus the striped seat inserts that give the interior a bit more personality than the Honda. The latter depends on orange stitching to break up all the black surfaces. Similarly, we preferred the feel of the Toyota's controls. 
The various buttons, and especially the knobs, have a heft and feedback commonly associated with luxury cars. There's nothing wrong with the Honda's controls, but when you get Lexus quality parts at a Toyota price, it feels special. Honda claws back points for better ergonomics, as some of the Toyota's buttons are rather small and difficult to differentiate at a glance while others are hidden down by the driver's left knee. On the other hand, it's difficult not to appreciate all the Toyota RAV4S storage spaces. The Honda CR-V has a nice big bin right up front under the climate controls, complete with wireless phone charger. But Toyota ups the ante with a built-in shelf in the dash that swallows all manner of everyday carry items without interfering with the wireless phone charger in the bin. Distinctions are tougher to draw in the rear seat. Both have air vents, multiple USB charging ports, multiple cup and bottle holders, and reclining seat backs. The Honda's second row feels slightly more spacious, but the Toyota's back seat passengers are treated to more natural light from the panoramic sunroof. Honda's only covers the front seats, and the same level of materials quality and trim work as the front seats. Stuff your stuff. Both offerings deliver about the same amount of cargo space, but there's more to it than that. Honda unfortunately took several steps backward in this department. There's no storage under the CRV's cargo floor while the RAV4 not only has storage down there but also a temporary spare tire down, the Honda gets a can of fix a flat. The CRV also lost its handy release handles for the rear seats, which previously let you lower the seats from the back instead of walking around to the sides to do so. Lucky for Honda, Toyota still hasn't adopted that feature, so it's a wash in this case. With the seats down Honda claims more total cargo space, but for day-to-day -day hauling the Toyota has more space with the seats up. Speaking of statistics, if these compact SUVs are too similar to rank based on subjective evaluations, you might hope their spec sheets would provide some grounds for choosing one over the other, but no such luck. Starting with static measurements the CR-V and RAV4 are effectively the same size, they have basically the same interior space and similar cargo space. The numbers are so close across the board as to be immaterial. Our dynamic test results don't offer much help in picking a winner either. The Toyota is ever so slightly quicker to accelerate, but the Honda stops shorter. They pull the same lateral G in a corner, and their figure 8 lap times would probably be the same were the sporty feeling Honda not hampered by a more intrusive stability control system. Numbers that really matter. With nowhere else to turn all we had left were the two numbers that will matter most to most consumers, price and fuel economy. Folks buying these hybrids are looking to save a buck at the pump and certainly won't mind paying less up front either. Here, again, the numbers are nearly the same. Both of these hybrid SUVs are so new, their makers had to give us estimated prices. But they're right on top of each other as tested. Take a look at their base prices though, and things change. The 2023 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid is about $2,600 cheaper to start than the 2023 Honda CR-V Hybrid, and it comes with standard all-wheel drive. If you want an all-wheel drive CR-V Hybrid, the gap grows to roughly $4,000. The price difference pretty much stays the same as you climb up the trim levels, with this top-shelf RAV4 Hybrid starting about $2,000 less than this top-line CR-V Hybrid. Then there's the matter of fuel economy. The Honda's isn't expected to improve over the model it replaces, still returning an estimated 40-34-37 mpg city-highway-combined. The Toyota beats it across the board, but especially on the highway, and in the combined rating, at 41-38-40. It's not an enormous difference, but it will add up during the course of these vehicles' lives. Picking a winner for the average buyer, choosing one of these over the other is simply a matter of preference and priorities. Would you rather have the giant sunroof or the better lane keeping system? Given this scenario we chose with our wallets and not our hearts, the 2023 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid is cheaper to buy and is thriftier on gas than the 2023 Honda CR-V Hybrid and it's therefore our winner. Second place, 2023 Honda CR-V Hybrid Sport Touring. Pros. Sophisticated looks. Sportier handling. Quieter interior. Cons. More expensive. Worse fuel economy. Fewer storage spaces. Verdict a safe, conservative update of an already fantastic vehicle isn't quite enough to stay best in class first place 2023 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid XA. Pros. Better fuel economy. 
lower price, richer experience, cons, driver aids are behind the curve, stopping distance is too long, engine is too loud, verdict, the best product Toyota makes has only gotten better.